Go. Welcome, video log, June 8, 2005. We're five days out and uh, things have been going pretty well. The winds went from east to southeast and then back to east and now we're uh, sailing hard into the wind trying to make a northerly tack towards Fiji. Things are going well. The winds have been real constant. Um, we're feeling a lot better. We got down to the engine room today where there is no engine and worked on the battery, did some wiring. We had some problems with the wind vane so far. Two pulleys have broken away and the lines have broken away from the paddle. We've remedied all situations and things are going well. Morale on board is hip hop happening. We're having a good time. So this is our altar for our spaceship. We burn the candle. And the vessel is jumping and rocking around. <laughs> keep, her, keep her eyes on the space. No, no, no. Okay, that's a gracious keeper. I'm driving the ship, man. <laughs> and give us a bit little tour, very quick one, like maybe 15 seconds around. No, Seventh day out uh, off the coast of New Zealand, uh, five six hundred miles or so. Wind is hit very hard from the east. It's blowing anywhere from forty to sixty knots, and uh, it's been uh, really hard on our sails. Needless to say, we've blown every sail out. The main's gone, the mizzen's gone, and our and our smallest headsail is shafted, it's just shredded. So at this point, we'll be doing uh, quite a bit of sewing for the next few days and uh, trying to get some sail area up because we're laying a hole. 2005, this is our eighth day out. We've been encountering winds from 40 to 50 knots and uh, we've blown all of our sails out, which I told you about. We've been laying a hole all day long in a very dangerous position. And uh, at one point we were knocked down. The boat was totally lifted and thrown on its side and uh, food and books and everything went in, and all over the place. Kind of hurt myself. Got thrown against the wall. Uh, just after that we got the mizzen up and uh, steadied the boat out in a nice hogue two position and sat there for quite some time, five to six hours, when the wind died and then swifted, shifted directions and came from the north, the northwest. And uh, we're, we're uh, sailing hard. Uh, sun is shining, we have no steerage, we have no wind vane, and we only have one sail and we're taking on water horse to the wind vane itself. It didn't last very long after a day of work. Uh, it broke and there was no way to get it going. So uh, from here, Dee, what did we do after that? Well, we have steered the whole night and uh, exhausted in the morning. Use the old sailor street real sheet, sheet to the tiller. Run one of our old lines all in the knots from the sail to the tiller. Couple of bungees. I don't know if it's possible to see it. It's really wicked. But it old school trick that works, baby. Hands free. Eleventh day out. Uh, Winds have moved from southwest to southeast, going from length to about 10 to 15 knots. Finally, we're into uh, regular trade winds, and we're about uh, 65 miles up the southern tip of Kandavu, the southern Fijian island. Yeah, anticipating the landfall next 24, 48, or maybe 72 hours, the earliest. Here we go. Things are looking good. Morale's up. We're happy. We'll see you soon. June 14, 2005, 12th day out. Hey, hey, what's happening? We saw land today. What do you think, D? Yeah, land, land, I saw the land too. Yeah, so we got about 120 to 160 miles till we landfall in Savu Savu, Fiji. What do you think, D? Think you will do the landfall. All right, hey. Back and kick the most simplistic shit. Split it's alright, like lip and shit. Let's go, cause you can't get the concert to watch my shit.